today we can't muck around for ever. This is serious. All right, morning everyone. Okay, let's just check how this is going. Check how this is going. That's going well. <laughs> hey Mystic Mayhem, how are you? Welcome everyone, welcome to the stream. It's nice to get back to some serious hardcore fishing again. Look, um, What's happened is last night we had some howling southeasterlies, and what that did with a southeasterly, the wind's coming from this way. So what that's done is it's basically brought all this weed and all this dirty water to the beach, okay? Which is basically what you want. So about um, 2 a.m. this morning, when it sounded like the roof blew off where we were staying, the winds changed to easterly. So what's happened is now, see how the ocean's flattened out and it's nearly blowing the hat off? That's good. So what we've done is we've picked this section of the beach, probably about another 15 minutes to half an hour, we're gonna have a, um, we're just gonna have the weed sort of die down a bit and then we'll start fishing, okay? So I don't know whether you can see this. On the right hand side there we have some reef. In here, see this shore break? Watch this wave. It's gonna crash down in a minute, look. Boom. Right, today we've got to be really careful. This is nothing like where we fish at home. There's a lot of water movement. Where about, I'd say, oh, well, watch this, I'll show you. Right, Nathan, John, how are you, bud? Yeah, we'll find out, mate. So I'm 30 yards from the car here, and there's about another 40 yards down to the beach, fam. If I park any closer, we'll get swamped by waves. That's how much water movement's here. So see this, what we're gonna have to do, the weed is starting to really drop off. This morning early, there was all this stuff here getting washed up. Now we've just got little bits and pieces. So about another 15 minutes to half an hour. Now, just over here on this right-hand side, there's a little bit of a rip, okay? So what we'll do is we'll fish to the left of it. Um, we're probably gonna have to use some of our WA beach wires from down south just to hold bottom, but it's gonna be a very interesting day today. Um, I have seen one shape in the waves already, and this is one thing that you can pick out when you stay observing at the beach. When that wave forms, it's like a wall of water before it crashes, you'll see anything that's in there. All right, see that? That's probably about 30 foot high in the air there, okay? So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to wait for the water like this, run down flat out, okay? Cast at the beach, okay? And then bolt back up here because there's no way you're gonna catch me down there waiting for these waves to come in. I think we've got about one and a half to two minutes of good fishing time in between the waves. The hardest thing is just going to be holding bottom. Yep. On the right hand side there, famo, right, there's a heap of dirty water that Mulloway like to hang out in, but this is the wrong time of year for the big Mulloway. The big Mulloway down here uh, at a different time of the year. But, um, you know, work gets in the way of that. <laughs> okay. So, 
Cal, how are you? Steve, how are you, bud? What's going on, mate? Welcome, everyone. Okay. Now, don't forget to like the video, fam. Alrighty? Let's just chill out for a second. Yeah, we've got strong easterlies, fam, all day, which is pretty good. It's quite funny. It's cold coming off the desert, but, you know... Rightio, let's not muck around anymore. Let's get everything set up. This is what we came here for, Famo. We'll cast around a few soft plastics today because, you know, life's full of surprises and, uh, I think here, anything can happen, you know what I mean? Okay. Nice one, Steve. All right, excellent. And um, just to give you an idea, fam, um, I'm actually quite excited about this morning. I know there's a lot of big mackerel around some places at the moment. Okay, famo, I've just seen something down in the water there. I don't know whether you saw it. There was like a big zigzag in there. So something's come in, fed, and then shot out again. This is good. We're all good today. All right. It's your moment today, mate. Now remember when I told you about all the casting that we've been doing at home? Right, that's been practiced for this. Because if you can't cast over the shore wash, game over. Right. Doesn't matter whether it's the 4th of May, the 4th of July, wherever, whenever. We've got to be able to cast over all this white water in here. So the reef's just there. Who knows what's swimming around there, fam? But anyway, I'm not going to bang on about it. Let's get on with it. <laughs> I'm so clucky for another dog. Hello. Hey, puppy. Hello. G'day mate, hello gorgeous, look at you, you living your best life, hello, what's your name, come here, hello beautiful, hey aren't you gorgeous, you going for a run with mum, hey, hey you, yeah, quick go, 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 g'day mate, how you going, <laughs> now Stephen, right, Stephen, just calm down with the urge to start running, okay? Just calm down. Now, famo, you know that um, streaming equipment Our side, Mystic Mayhem, we're all in this together, okay? We're all in this together, it's not just me. But I'm not in any rush, because what I'm doing, I don't know whether you can notice this, but as, the, as these waves are coming up, they're coming up a lot cleaner, because when I got here this morning, right, the whole wall of water was brown with this weed. Right, that's all from this morning and last night. It was just a brown wall of um, light weed. So we're waiting. I don't know whether you can see this next wave. Just check it out. Let's see all this dirty water in front of us. Right. And all this is getting stirred up. See how it's totally different to home? Home, we've got that shallow, gentle, uh, yawn type water. So... Actually, there's one right there. 
Right. Good work. Hey, Murray River Explorer, how are you, mate? Hey, Bomb Dog, what's going on, bud? Hey, nice to see everyone in here. Bomb Dog, how are you, mate? Good to see you. Murray River Explorer, so now when you say Murray River Explorer, do you mean like, uh, you know, Murray River Eastern States? Welcome, mate. Twelve people in here. Excellent. Thank you. Now, famo. Oh, good on you, Johnny. That's the way, mate. Mildura, okay. Now, Famo, you know how I always keep banging on about our streaming gear? Let me show you something. I recently um, did a little bit of an upgrade again. Right, let me show you the speeds we're getting with our setup. And these speeds you can't get with a backpack. So we are, <laughs> we are remote. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. Big Bernie, triple three, how are you mate? Welcome to the stream. It's what this stream needs, more big blokes. All right, so we're remote. We've got a download speed of about 15 meg. Lovely. Gavin, how are ya? Adrian, all right, famo. All right, let's talk. Bernie, is that Bernhard triple three? <whistles> Cannot believe we've got full Wi-Fi, 1080p, from where we are. Unbelievable. Right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get out my sinkers. It's not Starlink. I actually left Starlink at home, Steve. Starlink's got a few issues at the moment in WA because the um, it keeps dropping out. But once they get the um, uh, once they get the um, ah, see this famo. This is our secret to success today. This is going to be the difference between holding bottom and not holding bottom. This is called a WA beach wire, or the anchor, as I like to call it. Right. Now. Oh, BM, how are you, bud? <sighs> right, that's all my surface poppers there. Hang on. We'll, we'll muck around with some surface poppers to do. There might be a few tailor. This is starting to clear up a bit now, which is good. Last night was shocking to them. Use the gold rooster popper, that's a pretty good colour. What else have we got? Gold, redhead, gold, redhead, and we'll go the uh, pilchard. Let's leave that down there. Now I'm not too eager to get down to the beach yet, fam. I want it to calm down a bit, okay? Uh, 
and I also need to charge my laptop. Okay, now it's funny. This side of the beach is clearing up quicker than this side. Okay, I don't know how that works. Hey, thanks, Big Bernie. Uh. Hang on a second. That's charging this now. Hang on. Oh, that breeze is strong. Why is that not doing that? No, we don't want to charge this. Hang on, fam, I just got to get this laptop to charge. Sweet Peach, hello mate, what's going on? Oh, bleh. For an easterly wind, it's quite cold. Oh, I hear you mate, loud and clear bud. I hear you loud and clear. Why is that not charging? That's very weird. In 30, out 60. No, you don't want... Uh, Adrian, they're just 12 footers, mate, but see what I've got here. I've got it on about a um, four foot high um, rod holder. That saves you about 300 bucks on uh, fishing rods, mate, you know? Very weird. All right, let's just leave that there like that for now. Okay, I'm just gonna grab some rigs. Oh yes. The force is strong in this one. So, just leave that to charge for a bit. Ocean Buzzy, hey mate. Now you're meant to be getting ready for school, sunshine. What are you doing, hey? You gotta study. Don't worry about old blokes fishing. You get your study done. The study's important. Yes, well, today we're getting a bit serious, fam. So. <laughs> and with your fishing and that sort of stuff, fam, they're not going anywhere. Just chill out. You know, the amount of times you go fishing and people just lose their minds trying to, you know. Yeah, thanks, Steve. Superfly, how are you, bud? Yeah, we're practically in our winter, mate, but we're... Uh, in the northwest of the state and it's never really winter here so whereas in the country it's 18 degrees celsius here today it's going to be 31 howling east east now that is exactly what we were waiting for just calming off now see all this white water that's going to smash everything on the beach and then the fish will come in behind and start feeding great all right fam got a pocket full of dreams today fam that's all we've got let's turn our dreams into a reality eh? that's all we can really do come on don't 
No, it'd be like that. The swivel's going, no, I don't want to go in the water. Well, you do, because that's your job. No, not again. I told you to study. If you had to study, you would have got that nice office job. You wouldn't have had to swim around in the ocean. I keep telling them that. So these rods that we're using today, Famo, this is a WSB Tackle Horizon fishing rod. I've got the first shipment turning up in July, so if you would like to buy one of the rods that's used live on stream, just wait till July when we open up the online store again. Got a heap of rods and reels and that sort of stuff coming, so a heap of terminal tackle, everything fam. Yeah, I don't like that. Is that a chip? Now, Famo, if we are privileged enough to get a hit from a mile, mile away today, don't be surprised if the rod looks as though it's going to get shaken out of its rod holder because that's how they hit here. Okay? Phil H., how are you, bud? Crazy busy with work, yeah. That's what allows you to do what you want to do, man. Shark Smith Angling, how are you bud? Welcome to the stream mate. This is going to be right up your alley today bud because you've got more sharks over the 5 metre length swimming around in this water than most other places in Western Australia. If not the world. Right. Okay fam, so what we're doing today is we're going to start off with a Mulloway rig in case we fluke one. And then if we get bitten off we'll go to the wire. Okay, so that's the headache, you know, we could get bitten off, but, you know, you don't know unless you try. Just going to put that back in here. Don't let, blast, uh, don't let plastic blow around um, on your fishing spots and that sort of thing, Famo. Right. Now with these conditions today, fam, we're going to have to be a little bit careful because it's a lot more volatile than what we're accustomed to. So, what we're doing nowadays is we're just fishing one set of hooks and uh, one bit of terminal tackle on the rig, so if we lose it, we don't lose that much. Right, so what I've done is I've done a loop here. Okay, I'm going to put that through here. Going to loop that around my sinker, like so. Right, ta-da. So what we have now is the sinker like that. So this rig's going to sit in the water like so once we anchor and then with this um, anti-crab float that's going to try and suspend the bait a little bit more off the bottom just to give it a little bit more natural presentation and the float won't bother them. Okay? Like that. So that's our rig for today with the big stuff. We'll put this out first. Hey! <laughs> Okay, we're going to start off with the West Australian Pilchard, or Scaly as they call them here. Right, 
Yeah, there is, Steve. There is, mate, just in front of us. What I've done is I've got a bit of reef over there with a bit of dirty water and I've got a gutter just forming in front of us here. What I'm gonna do, there's another one just formed out there. We've got a seam in the middle. So I'm just gonna pump the cast straight down the middle here. Right, straight down there. So anything that comes on here, it'll see the bait and anything that goes there, it'll see the bait. But that dirty water there is exactly what we want. So it's all systems go. Right, let's get a bait out there. Oh. Why are you charging? That's not working. So it's using the laptop to charge. We don't want that. Hey, that's better. Now we're talking. Excellent. DJ, what's going on, bud? When I got here this morning, Famo, what I did is I spent about half an hour to 45 minutes walking up and down the beach. And uh, we've got a little bit more weed coming in, but that's okay. And just sussing things out, you know. <sighs> All right, first cast of the day coming up. So this is our bait for today, okay? This is just the West Australian pilchard. They call them scalies here. I'll tell you what, Famo. I'm glad we've got this easterly behind us, even though I'm just about losing my hat. Lucky I've got no hair. Right, first cast of the day, famo, let's go. Righto, come on, mate. Just gotta... Gotta pick our moment, fam, that's all. So let's just chill out for a second. Never rush when you're near the water. Okay, so this shore break's gonna hit now, watch. The waves are forming out the back. We've got one just out the back here, then another bigger one forming. So we'll just let this shore wash come up. This will dump. There's a bit of weed out there, but we'll be right. There's another one coming up. And I just need to be able to get close enough to cast. Here it comes, see this? Right, let's go. Rightio, we made it over the wave. Good work. Let's go. Okay, and we've got bottom. Good. Only way we're going to be able to fish today, fam. That rod tip going down like that is the wave trying to form. This is one of the advantages of using braid over monofilament. Okay, braid will give you a direct line to your sinker and bait, whereas monofilament will just, you know, bunch up. But I think we're gonna have a bit of ha uh, hassle with the weed out there today, Fabo. So let's just wait and see. And look, if we don't get any joy this morning, we'll just pack up and chase some mangrove jack, okay? But unless you come out here and have a cast, you won't know, you know what I mean?
yeah there's a bit of weed that's come up but that's alright just leave it and trust me if you if you get hit by a fish here you'll know about it so what's happened is right we've oh that's that was a hit come on come back Nah, that's swell. What do we got going on here? Nah, it's just weed. Hang on. Nah, this is just weed, famo, but you'll still get a fish out there. So what's happened is the weed's wrapped itself around the braid and with all the water, see how it's pulling down on the rod? Okay, the rod comes back to straight, come on. Yeah, we'll give it about an hour, see how we go and worst comes to worst, like I said, we'll go and chase some mangrove jack and then we'll just come back tomorrow. That's a bit different. Ah, that's weed. Okay, come on. Come on, bud. Yes, weed fish. I think we've got half of the weed in the ocean on this line. Come on, buddy. Come on. So what happened was it cleared up for a while. Right, we've just got another wave of it coming through, so we'll have another cast and see how we go. Come on. So as the waves are trying to form, you feel a pull on the line. Come on.
There you go, you can have that one. Well, uh, 60 pound braid and 50 pound leader with an 80 pound man, main line. We just got bombed with weed, Famo. Uh, it looked fairly clear there, but what we'll do, give it another 15 minutes, we'll have another cast. And what we'll do is if we don't get anything other than grief on the next couple of casts over the next 30 to 45 minutes, then we'll go and chase some mangrove jack. Ooh, having on arm workout. <laughs> Glasgow, how are you, bud? No. <laughs> yeah, it is swell, cow, because what it is, because there's so much water here, as it tries to uh, form a wave, it'll pull the sinker in with the undertow. Right, so that's what happens. And then what happens, the wave forms, it crashes, and then it stops pulling on the line. So that's not fish, mate. If that was a mulloway, the rod would be getting ripped out of my hand, you know? That's life. But we have another rig. Let's go again. Oh, I'll need a sinker. What I'm gonna do is a, I'm gonna get a fairly hefty snapper lead on it. That's fishing, cow. You know, I was a bit worried today would have been a bit too early, but um, you know, gotta go in and have a try, mate. If you don't try, you'll never know. What do we get here? The thing is though, unless you've got a heavy enough sinker, you won't be able to hold bottom, you know what I mean? So, what do we got here? Let's see. Yeah, look at that. I'm a bit surprised because it looks like it's coming up fairly clean. And even that looks clean, but as soon as you cast it out there, although that side's got weed in it, this side's clear now. Meh, we'll figure it out. Actually, let's use that one. Same old story with fishing, you just gotta figure it out, don't you? You know? <sighs> Glasgow, that's Australia, bud. So, Kramat, how are you, bud? Nah, we've had one cast and we got um, obliterated by the weed, Kramat, so we're gonna go again. Gonna try a different sinker though. Yeah, you don't wanna get too close to the waves here, Glasgow, cause you might not come back, bud. And that's fact. Lots of people have been killed along this coast um, fishing and no fish is worth losing your life for at all. Right now, let's get these breakaway sinkers. <laughs> Kramit, mate, come on Kramit, this is me, bud. Surely you've run out of excuses for having a dab, hey? <laughs> <laughs> uh, cram it you're a legend mate if they had an olympics for that you'd win it with no training oh yeah you're permanently in training yep looks like we're chasing uh, some mangrove jack on soft plastics but we'll just have a bit more of a go fam you know me i don't like to give up too easy or at all for that matter Now it clears up. Meh. That's how it goes, famo. What we might do is I might put that surface popper on and see if there's any tailor out there. If you cast out a surf popper, right, and your surf popper gets covered in weed, you gotta go home. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
That's why you get so many more fish species up here than other parts of WA Fair because of the water movement, you know. Water temperature, quite a few things. <laughs> yeah, it's not the 420 type of weed, mate. It's kelp. Big difference, brother. Big difference. Now that snapped at the swivel, which is not good. Oh, have they? Yeah, look. Glasgow, I'm not like that, bud. You know... I just, it's a bit of a false economy, mate, trying to, you know, so many people just spend all day going, oh, yeah, you know, look at all the views they're getting on YouTube. Oh, wow, you know, we can do that. We can get pardoned. We can do this. Yeah, go for it, mate. But you're not being true to yourself and you're not being true to your community, you know. So, you know what I mean? And um, it's like when I had about, I had a stream one day with a few hundred in there. And all these people came in and were telling me to get a drone. And it's like, what do I want a drone for? You know, oh, we'll do a donation goal. I said, keep your money, you know, look after you. Oh, God. And they say, oh, you can catch snapper from the beach with a drone. And then about 10 minutes after we had the um, run in, I caught a snapper from the beach without a drone. <laughs> So, you know, each to their own. You'll be right, Kramit. Just do what you do best, mate. That water's getting a bit serious, fam. Yeah, well, that's right, Glasgow, you know, but hey, that's just me. Each do their own sort of thing. I just don't see the point. You've got to remember too, fam, I started off fishing with a hand line. Right, so I've been using a hand line for years. And then went to rod and reel and all the rest of the stuff. So I've been through the lot, famo. Right, been through the lot. Seen it all, you know. Oh wait, should have seen the view yesterday, Kramit. Look at those waves offshore, it's pretty lumpy today. Yeah, it looks like tomorrow might better be a better beach fishing day, fam. But that's all right, we're still here now. We're gonna give it a red hot go. And like I said, worst comes to worst, we'll go and flick some soft plastics around um, for some mangrove jack, fam, I don't care. Right. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me again.
Rightio. Let's see if this weed has cleared up a bit, fam. Because ideally, as soon as the weed... Hey, Ron, how are you, mate? Uh, heaps of weed, Ronnie. We're about a hundred yards from the ocean here. All right, there we go. Lovely, I'll put a bit of wire on there in case there's a mackerel out there or something, you know. Willy Poo from Twitch, how are you bud? Kiora, bro, what's going on? Right here, let's go again, Famo, because that's what we'll do. We'll give it three casts. I wish I had started blowing earlier this morning, yeastlies. Right here. Uh, it's a bit frozen, but it'll live. Let's go again. It looks fairly clean, Famo. I don't get it. Getting beautiful distance on the cast. Okay, so we've held bottom. Oh, look at that weed already. Looks like it's mangrove jack today, fam. Yeah, we're covered in weed already. I don't think we're going to get, I don't think we're going to get this back. It's a bit rough and ready, isn't it? Come on, form that wave. I just want the sinker back. Hang on a minute. No. Nah. There's some serious undertow here, fam.
Actually, Famo. This might sound a bit silly, okay? But that's actually got less weed on it the last time. So let's just give it another 15 minutes, half an hour. We'll get the surface popper out and muck around. Right. But at least we got the uh, sinker in the rig back, which is good. Uh, last time when we did it, the whole line was covered in weed. Now it's just the rig. That's a good start. So hopefully it'll start to clean out. So what we'll do is we'll rig up this other rod with the surface poppers and we'll see what's out there. So let's just leave that for a bit. Okay. Doesn't look like much, but that's actually a bit of a result. No point fishing soft plastics. On the bottom we'll just get snagged, okay? Oh. Hey, culpable, how are ya? Riley, how are you, mate? That's it. Go to school, Riley. Culpable, how are you, bud? What are you doing? Come on. my head off all right let's send out a surface for fam this is a really good fun way to fish with these easterly we should be able to get it out a fair way and it's about the only way we're going to be able to fish with these um, conditions that we've got Oh, you got to try these things, fam. Got to try these things. Oh, Norton, no one cares. Oh, really? Thanks, people. We've got 24 viewers in here. That's really good of you. All right. Let's see. We'll try this gold one first. No, I'm not going to bother with that, Stephen, because what will happen is the muley will still drop down, bud. We're not fishing for salmon, matey. You've still got all that shore break, Steve. See all that? So even with a float, mate, it'll drop the float down. There's a, someone out on a boat. You are kidding me, right? Surely not. What... Man, I've seen, nah, I wouldn't go out today in a boat. Okay, now I did make some wire leaders the other day, so I'm just gonna get one of them. I would not be out in a boat today, fam, for a million dollars. Doesn't matter how big the boat is. Oh, they certainly are, Steve. Uh, it's about one o'clock, mate. But we're going to fish high tide in the river.
You've heard your sugar today, cup or not? I think this will clear out tomorrow. But there's still some fishing to be had. We're going to have a bit of fun with the uh, mangrove jacks and that. Uh, <laughs> oh, culpable. Remember when we spoke about it, you know, like, and I mean, just frustrating, man. Use these swivels, they said. They're great, they said. Oh, yeah, I use them all the time, they said. Stupid idea. Wow, that's a good one, isn't it? Well, there's a waste of a day. Sick and tired of sleazy salespeople just selling me rubbish. See this? It's an old school coast lock snap. Look at that. Hey, hey! Wow! How did that happen? Hey, Burger, how are you, mate? Good yourself? <laughs> Steve, oh, you're nice and tough when she's not in punching distance, bud. You know, we know how it works, man. You're the boss when she's not around. You work as a team, you do things her way. It's all right, mate. Rightio, let's get this popper out of here, fam, and have a bit of fun. Oh, here he goes. Yeah, she might hear you and she beats me. I'm going next door to see Phyllis. And even Phyllis said, Stephen, not again. When are you allowed to shut up? All right, fam, let's go. Righto, famo, these are the heavy duty wire leaders we made the other night with 80 pound. Okay. That's got the old Flemish uh, loop there. All right, let's see how we go. All right, back in a second. We should be able to cast as far with this surface popper as what we did with the sinker. So, pick our moment. Oh, this is going terrible. Oh no, it's clearing up actually. It's clearing up fam, see how the weed's becoming less?
what a cast. See that working? Excellent, little bit of weed, not much. At least we found our mojo, hang on a second. That was only in close too. Rightio, let's go again. Oh, easy there, big fella. Yeah, I don't muck around with the Southern Ocean and I don't muck around with this ocean, fam, at all. Best thing to do, just whack the rod uh, butt on your hip and just wait for your moment. We're way out the back there. Something up to that. That's how strong the undertow is, right? Come on, just get it out of there. That's how strong the undertow is. The popper was getting sucked back into the water. Righty, I will go again, hang on. No, I don't do that. Now when I cast that out before, I could have sworn I saw a shape swim up to it, but Okay, we're going. Back up the beach. What is Papa? What? There we go, come on. See it moving the water? Under that, come on. The ready? I wish you could be here and just seeing the force of these waves crashing onto the shore and every time they crash a little rainbow forms, you know? It's unbelievable. I think we've got a couple of more short breaks to contend with. One more. See that big one out the back? This is going to be the biggest lot here comes. Watch this.
Call you. One more. And then it should calm down, I think, for a bit. And people surf this, really? Okay, here we go. Come on, no, 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 get back. I want you to go back. That's it. Just read. That's it. Great. See that? Cyber trouts, how are you, bud? That's how you got a fish down here, bud. Oh, Norton, go away. Hey, Murray, how are you, buddy? Sorry about that, people. Don't know what's happening. All right, let's go again. That's how you have to fish, famo, you know? So we've got the big... 160 mil Halco that weighs about 78 grams, three ounces. Nine and a half foot graphite fishing rod with the wire leader. You just got to fish hard, you know. So, all right, let's go again, Famo. Hey, Cyber Trout, do you get any water movement like this at home or what? I think we're going to have to come back tomorrow, Famo, because the weed's taking over, even though we've got these wings cleaning it up. All right. But it looks like it's coming up clean. There's not that much snot in it, you know? This rip's forming straight down through here where we parked, Bema. Right here, let's go again. This water's that strong, it feels like it's trying to drag me in by the ankles. Right here, let's go. Cast. I'm just going to leave that to sit on the surface for the moment, just to look like a bit of a like stunned fish. Just cast your eyes on the water. Come on. What happened there? there you go. Here it comes. Shifting so much water, fam. I could sit here and do this all day. It's just on the edge now. Now this isn't a fish, that's the undertow. Look, that's how strong it is. Looks like there's a fish on there, see? The wave's finished forming, we'll bring it in with this. It's just in front of us here, look. And that's why we're fishing with 40 pound braid today, because if we weren't, we'd be stuffed. Righty, -o, let's go again. We're gonna have a couple more casts with the gold popper. 
and then we're going to swap over to the blue pilchard colour and see how that goes. This is definitely one place I don't want to get caught with my feet. All right, let's go. Uh, one more. Yeah, we'll make our way to the Murchison probably about the next half hour, fam. Let's see how we go. Right, just dump in there for me and pull this water back. Good work. Good work. It should be formed this way, not this way. That's a good cast, fam. We're about 30 yards behind the white water, which is where the fish sit. Rightio. Just going to let this settle for a second. S see if you can zoom in on your screen directly in front of us. Right, I'm just winding up the slack. That should be it now. You gotta get these poppers. What happened there? Oh, I got dragged under, damn it. Hear it? Hey, look. See that popper working in the waves? I'll let this wave form and then I'll bring it back again. Here we go, watch. There it is, just behind the wash. All right, now famo, just out the back there, there's a couple of fish that I've just seen feeding, so hang on. Rightio, that's not a fish, that's the swell and the wash. Have a look at the back of those waves. Come on. Man. <laughs> Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to swap to the pilchard colour, right, and see how that goes. Still working, famo, or not? Absolutely, absolutely blasted that got. Yeah, I don't think so, Ron. Not even close, mate. If you tried to surf that, you'd probably die, buddy. It's deceptive, pal. Yeah, it looks a lot better on the camera. Oh, that's because I'm so far away from the, um, that's because I'm so far away from the, um, phone. Oh, that's the 160. Oh, that's a 190. This is really hard fishing, fam. This is not easy at all. We're going to just make a go of it.
If you see a fin in the water, do you want to just let me know? Let's see if the blue does a different Just gotta be careful of six as well, you know what I mean? Now that's really interesting. The 160 mil cast just as far as the 190 mil. Off that. Right, and uh, wrapped up the popper in itself. So we'll start a fresh one up. All right, there we go, famo. All right, so that's the end of our beach fishing session today. So what we'll do, we'll just adapt. We'll go down and uh, get some soft plastics out, find some structure, and cast around um, the structure with some soft plackies. See what we can get, eh? Oh, is it Steve? <laughs> yeah, don't worry, mate, it's windy here too, bud. Well, Perth is the windy city, so... Well, famo, we tried. It is, Murray, it is. We tried, famo. So tomorrow will be better. Right, and what we'll do is we'll just come down tomorrow and fish when this weed clears up. We've got two days of easterlies, so just let the easterlies blow all day and do what it has to do, clear all this weed out. Uh, well, at least we know our wire leaders work. I don't know, I've never been to Chicago. Oh, it is. All right, famo, well look, I'm really sorry about that. We tried, right? And uh, yeah, conditions are against us, but there's always an option. You just gotta figure it out, you know?
Oh, that's it, Cal. All right, fam. Thank you very, very much for tuning in today. I've got to blow up tyres on the four-wheel drive and a few other things, so I will leave you to it. And uh, we'll try and get back within about the next hour. And, uh, oh, it is um, Murray River Explorer. It is, bud, you know. But we're all right. We're good, you know. That's what it's about, mate. We're a uh, fishing stream, but there's so much more life than just fishing, you know. So much more to life than just fishing, fam. Okay. All right, so look, if you just have a look out here, right, check this out. We were casting with a surface popper behind these waves, okay, and see all that dirty water in the waves here, just in the front? That's where a lot of your mulloway and that sort of stuff like to hang out. So, um, you know, all's not lost, but all this weed and that sort of stuff in front of us has made it tough. But what we'll do is we'll come back tomorrow and we go again. That's fishing, you know what I mean? You don't get put off, you just go, righto, you win today, we'll win tomorrow. All right, fam, see ya, see you in about an hour.